Hey, I'm making an updated tier list of after free agency, but let's go ahead and jump right into it. First team, the Tennessee Titans really didn't do all that much. I think they signed Andre Dillard, which is a good pickup. Uh, Arden Key is a decent pickup, but I don't think that I'll really change my mind all that much about them. So they're still probably going to have to go in the good category for me. I kind of wish they would have made a move at like a big quarterback, or maybe they'll trade up in the draft and draft somebody that maybe could take Ron Tannehill's spot later. Miami Dolphins, they did have some great moves this all season, obviously trading for Jalen Ramsey is the big one but I still don't think they made enough moves yet for me to be saying Super Bowl contender here I'm still gonna put them in great next is gonna be the New York Jets I'm gonna say that they got Aaron Rodgers because I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen it's just a matter of when they would probably be in the middle of good now that they have Aaron Rodgers I'm gonna put them in great for right now might change this later probably gonna be at kind of the bottom of great have a very good defense and they also picked up some decently valued free agents on the defense side of the ball as well to boost that the cincinnati Bengals, i would probably have in super bowl contenders anyways before free agency started they picked up orlando brown which is really going to help joe burrow in that offensive line most needed positions they need to fill for the browns again didn't really do much this off season they picked up the safety thornhill I think that's going to be a very good move for them. Good right now, just because I think Deshaun Watson, with the full offseason and training camp and everything, I think he's going to be, do a lot better than he did last year. They're going to be at the bottom of good. Maybe I'll move him in mid. We'll, we'll see later. For the Jaguars, they did make a couple of decent signings. Not really nothing too key or no stars or anything. I'm still going to put them in great. Should I put them above the Jets? I think I am right now. I think the Detroit Lions offseason was very slept on this year. Their defense was one of the worst last year. Picked up Cam Sutton, Alex Anzalone as well. They picked up some key defensive players that should boost. Oh yeah, and uh, Gardner Johnson too, they just signed. I think that defense will be a lot better. And I think they're improving a lot this offseason. I'm going to put them in great right now. They're going to be right there with the Jets. The Vikings really didn't do that much this offseason. The defense was their main struggle last year. I think I had them in great at the end of last year. I'll still put them at great, the bottom of great though. The Bucks, the Bucks, the Bucks. What to say about the Bucks? They did retain some of their key defensive players like Jamal Dean and uh, Levante David. But the quarterback position is really concerning me. Sean Baker Mayfield, I guess he's going to start. I don't know. Kyle Trask might start as well. They got a decent defense though. I'm going to put him in mid. 49ers had a lot of free agent signings this offseason. The main one, Javon Hargrove. Adding him to the defensive line in general is just going to boost and it didn't even need boosting but it is going to boost it i'm going to put them in super bowl contenders i'm a panthers fan so it's going to be hard for me to say this i think the atlanta falcons have one of the best off seasons in general you got jesse bates which was one of the top free agents out there but it wasn't as good as i thought it was i'm still going to put them probably in mid i'm actually going to put them over the bucks though i have no clue what the baltimore ravens are doing at all will they have lamar jackson they're really not helping his situation out even if he does come back they haven't even signed a wide receiver or any weapons for him to throw to i'm going to say that they retain lamar jackson because i think i predict that that is going to happen i'm still going to put him just in good I think they will be good with Lamar Jackson, but like I said, they haven't given him any help. Chicago Bears had one of the best off seasons I've seen in a while. Huh? They got DJ Moore via trade. They signed Tremaine Edmonds, TJ Edwards as well. They are boosting the linebacker core for their defense. They give a Justin Fields someone to throw the ball to. I'm going to put them in good. I think the Bears had one of the best leaps for me, to be honest. I think they were all the way down here in bad. The Cowboys didn't really sign a lot of people, but they got a lot of people from trade. They got Brandon Cooks, which could be a great wide receiver too, and probably will be. They got Stephon Gilmore to boost that defense as well. Two key pieces are going to help a lot this season. I think they're going to be in great. We'll put them about right here. The Texans had a couple of decent signings. They have Jimmy Ward now. Ace Keenum is a good backup to mentor whoever they draft in the second overall pick. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a quarterback. And if they don't take a quarterback, oh my God, I'm probably still going to put them in bad. I'm not going to lie. Even when they do draft their quarterback, he has nobody to throw to now. The Colts, really, I think Gardner Minshew will be a great starting quarterback to whoever they draft. I still don't think they had a huge jump in success, though. I'm going to put them in mid. For the LA Rams, they didn't do anything this offseason. The only good thing that happened this offseason was getting their team back healthy. Matthew Stafford hopefully is healthy now. Cooper Cup as well. I do think they're going to do better just because of that perspective than they did last season. I still don't think they'll have a great season though. I'm going to put them in the top of mid. The Chargers are kind of the same way. I mean, they had some health issues last season. 
uh, didn't fire their head coach, which was kind of questionable for me. I think they should have. We'll still put them in great, I guess. Put them about midway in great. The Raiders had a huge offseason, though. They signed Jimmy G. Probably going to draft a quarterback to sit behind him, maybe. Got Jacoby Myers. They did trade Darren Waller away. Let's put them, like, at the bottom of good. Jacoby Myers is a really slept-on wide receiver, and I think Jimmy G is a really slept-on quarterback as well. I think him with Devontae Adams and with Joe Kobe Myers is going to really boost the offense. My problem is they didn't really boost the defense that much, and that was kind of their main problem last season. For the Commanders, they didn't really do anything either. I'm going to put them in mid. I am excited to see what Sam Howell does, though, so that's a bright spot, but for right now, I'm going to put them in mid. The Kansas City Chiefs are still going to be Super Bowl contenders to me. I kind of I think they took a step back, but it's hard for me to degrade them after we just saw what Patrick Mahomes and he still has Travis Kelsey and still have Andy Reid there. So I really don't think they're going to take a decline. I know Patrick Mahomes probably doesn't need any help, but give him some. For the Saints, they got Derek Carr. I think he's going to be an end quarterback. I don't think he's going to take him a lot of places and probably make a push for the NFC South. Depends on what the Panthers quarterback situation is. Right here-ish. I absolutely love what the Giants did this offseason. Keeping Daniel Jones, keeping Saquon Barkley, and then they went out and traded for Darren Waller too. Finally giving Daniel Jones the weapons that he needs to prove himself. I think he'll actually have a decent uh, shot to prove himself. I'm going to put him in good. Probably around the top of good. The Eagles really took a step back this year. Could have been a lot worse because they did re-sign James Bradbury and Darius Slay, so it could have been a lot worse. I, I think they're going to take a little step back. Not a huge step back, though. I'm put them behind the Bengals. It's going to be the Pittsburgh Steelers. I love the signing of Patrick Peterson. Not as great as he once was, I don't think, but I think he's, he's still a really good corner, and he's going to be a really good leader in that defensive locker room. Like, around good. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Broncos had a really good offseason as well. Signing Mike McGlinchey. You can obviously see that one of the things they wanted to do uh, in this offseason was protect Russell Wilson, Ben Powers as well. Don't think it was Russell's fault, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to put him in good. Packers really signed three people this offseason. Lost like what just about all their wide receivers. Trading their sorry quarterback away, which I do think Jordan Love will step up. I don't know that 100%, but I think he will. I'll put them right there. I really love what the Panthers have done. I know a lot of people are saying the Panthers got fleece for the number one pick, but I do not care. If you do not have a franchise quarterback, you are not doing anything in this league. And I can contest that to everybody. I love the Panthers being aggressive. Yes, we gave DJ Moore away, but I also love what we've done in free agency. Signing Hayden Hurst, signing Adam Thielen. We're going after DJ Shark right now. Hopefully we get him too. Miles Sanders as well. I mean, I really think that we have built the best situation to just drop that quarterback in there. We have a top 10 offensive line as well. They probably draft CJ Stroud with that number one pick of Bryce Young for this next year. I don't think he's going to do amazing just because he's a rookie quarterback and you don't really see rookie quarterbacks be amazing their first year. So on that note, I'm probably going to put him, uh, put him in good. And then once that, once I see something from that quarterback and be like, all right, this is our guy and we didn't draft a bus, then I'll put him a lot higher. The Cardinals uh, signed some offensive linemen, not much more. I'm going to put him in good because I do think the new head coach will help Kyler Murray a lot. And put him right here and good, I guess. So you know what? We're putting him in mid. Uh, I'll still put him in Super Bowl contender. Probably going to put him a little bit further down, though. Probably right there. The Seahawks, they were pretty much re-signing people as well. Didn't have a crazy offseason. A couple of decent signings, though. We'll still probably put him in good. Maybe, like, right there. The last team, the New England Patriots. Signing Peppers. Uh, Jonathan Jones. Uh, Juju as well. I didn't even know they signed tight end Mike Gusecki. I think they made some decent moves. Uh, not too much to impact their roster, but I think it will impact it a little bit. I'll put them behind. All right, I think that's a decent list. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll check you guys out next time. Peace.